Item number SCP-6554 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures Tokyo Morts are to be scoured for instances of SCP-6554 on a monthly basis. Any instances found are to be taken to the closest site open testing room or cafeteria and the type of item dispensed by the instance is to be locked in Extended Object Lock 6554. All SCP-6554 instances are available for use by all staff. Sufficient warning of the true contents of each instance should be clearly marked on its outside. Description SCP-6554 are capsule machines also known as Goshapon that spontaneously manifest in shopping malls in Tokyo, Japan. All instances resemble existing Goshapon, utilizing advertisements of products sold in their baseline counterparts. The contents of each instance differ from the advertised product on each machine. Examples of items sold by SCP-6554 instances include mittens seemingly designed for feet, cooked fish that don't match any known species, pieces of paper and other substances with sideways capital N's written on them, rings of metal with small gemstones embedded onto them, and small cylindrical pieces of wood which have been found to perfectly fit the tops of many types of bottles. Instances are able to replenish the supply of their respective items immediately after purchase. All instances are indistinguishable from the baseline counterparts save for the automatic replenishing. No anomalous properties have been found in the objects dispensed by SCP-6554. All food products such as cooked fish have been dispensed at a suitable temperature and prepared for human consumption. Addendum 65641 On January 1st, 2039, all instances stopped dispensing their respective object. When used, instances will instead now dispense one human eyeball. Eyeballs are all genetically distinct. Two eyeballs from the same machine do not share similar genetics and can be any type. After this sudden change in SCP-6554's behavior, a full search of archives was performed by Alexandra AIC, revealing photos kept in temporally isolated deep wells featuring humans with two eyes. This evidence suggests Homo sapiens have not always been a monocular species.